Hi, and welcome back to the Citizen Channel. I hope you're all staying safe and well. And an odd show feature on the upcoming Champions League game against FC Copenhagen. On oh, match day four, yeah, Tuesday, 11th of October. A nice early kickoff, 5 45 pm. So, I'm going to look at any value on this game. Please, if you are new to the channel, I do everything City past, present, and forever information, vlogs, reviews, previews, lots of different things, history vlogs, etc. So, you can join us and push that button. Push the notification button as well. That'd be great. It'd be great to have you on board. All comments, very, very welcome. And please make an old City fan very happy. Just give us a thumbs up for this, guys. I'll try and give as much information as I can. Try and entertain if I can as well and give you uh, interesting information on City and sometimes myself in these sort of vlogs. So it'd be great to have you on board. Fantastic. Right, all these prices today are at the 9th of October 2022. And please, when the fun stops, stop. And be gamble aware. All these odds are generally available. There's some better ones. Uh, I've took sort of the average, if you like, or you know, the, the two or three of the big bookmakers that come up with the price, and the others are a little bit lower or higher. I just took a sort of average. So there may be some if you shop around. Certainly, maybe some better, slightly, slightly better prices than what I'm going to give you today. But as I said, be be aware these are at the ninth of October, so they may have changed. And the odds share yeah, to win about Champions League odds, City to win the Champions League were the same as we were last week before the home game against Copenhagen. So we're two to one. PSG though and Bayern Munich uh, respectively were five to one and eleven to two. They've both gone out now. They've actually gone out to six to one. So City, even though we've not moved from two to one, are still uh, have actually firmed up favouritism as far as the bookies are concerned. I mean, obviously, they're quite impressed with our five 0 win over Copenhagen. Obviously, the game itself, the match odds. Last week we were one to twenty on to beat Copenhagen at home. Now it's one to nine playing away, which is as you'd expect. Copenhagen themselves were forty to one last week. Now they're twenty five to one, and the draw last week was twelve to one. Now it's seventeen to two. And this is my starting eleven, please, for the ins and outs and whys and wherefores. It's quite an hard one this week, I think, for this game with Anfield coming up as well after this. I just see my preview show for my thoughts on how I got to this starting eleven. The 11, Edison, Cancelo, Diaz, Laporte, Gomez, Rodri, Gundo, KDB, Grealish, Alvarez and Haaland. Yes, yes, he's uh, been running to the ground, the poor man. Uh, terrible. Yeah, to sum up this game, anything less than a clean sheet would be disappointing. As far as City is concerned, I mean, Copenhagen will be cock a hoop if they do. Uh, so, would hope, perhaps to get close, <coughs> excuse me, Perhaps get close to last week 5 0, but uh, with Anfield next up, Pep may be a little bit more circumspect with this one. So I do expect about a 3 0, 3 0 victory for this uh, you know, as a scoreline. So if you look at the little little headings and what we've got, first goal scorer, as you'd expect, Haaland's 15 to 8, so he's a firm favourite. Not a lot of value in that. But if you think that Grealish is 10 to 1, he's, he's due a goal, isn't he? He keeps coming, he keeps knocking on the door, but he's not had one. And Alvarez, of course, if he plays, he's always likely to get a goal. He's 4 to 1, so he's, he's better value. And of course, you've got people like KDB, uh, 13 to 2. And Gomez, what about Gomez? Yeah, I've got, I'm thinking Gomez will play. And he does like a shot. I mean, I think against, uh, it wasn't Southampton again. Last week, I think he had at least three long-range efforts that were all on target and was saved very, very well. But Gomez, and he's 35-1, to 1, first goal scorer. Hey, so that's that's not bad. And then if we go on to the anytime goal scorers, we'll, we'll have a look at Gomez. And he's 12-1. to 1. Uh, that, That's that's good. I, I don't mind that one. That, that's worth a chance. And if you look at Grealish, he's 72. Alvarez, he's 5-6 to six on. Haaland, 4-11, to 11, no value there. And Kevin De Bruyne, I always like to go 2-2. Two, two. If you can get 2-1 two to one on Kevin, if you can get that anywhere, it's always worth a go because he's not exactly been scoring many recently. He must be due one or two. But the best I've seen is 7-4. to four. I think I've seen a 15-8 to eight as well, but we're struggling just on a 2-1 to one basis. Half-time, full-time, it's got to be City for both, surely. I, mean, I can't see anything other than City, City for this. And 1-2 to two on is not bad. I think that's not a bad price for City, City, 1-2 to two on. And a draw and City to win at full-time is 10-3. to three. Correct score, yeah. No goals yet for Copenhagen. They're not doing very well in the Champions League. They've not scored any against us last week. But uh, it'd be disappointed if they break the duck against us, that's for sure. So let's have a look at the zeros. If you if you go for a 5 0 as it was at the Etihad, it's 12 to 1. But if you go a 2 and 3 0, they're both 6 to 1. And a 4 0 is 8 to 1. If they do score, 
which is feasible. It's a new game. They've nothing to lose. A 3-1 win for City is 10-1. A 4-1 win for City is 14-1. The handicaps, yeah, interesting. If City only win by a couple of goals, uh, you can get uh, four to five on with uh, Copenhagen plus three goals. So that's a bit, that's certainly of interest. Goals under and over, over two and a half, which is is a safe bet. Uh, as I say, I, I'm not, you know it could you know I'm going for three nil. So over two and a half, four to eleven, a little bit restricted. But if you take a chance and it ends up three one or four or four nil, over three and a half is a much better ten to eleven on. So that's of interest. And over four and a half, if you expect similar to last week at the Etihad. And get two to one on that winning margin. Uh, yeah, a weaker, a weaker, perhaps uh, not weaker team, but as a, a sort of team, sort of looking forward to the next game as well, and making sure we just do the job. If you go two two goal winning margins, three to one, a three goal is seven to two. If you are going to go for a four plus winning margin, it's thirteen to five. So I'm probably more inclined to touch the two winning two goal winning margin, three goal winning margin, than go for the four plus. Both teams to score, yeah, the bookies, as you'd expect, are, are favouring no on this one. They don't expect so Copenhagen Hagen to score in this game. So we've got 8-11 to 11 on. A yes, uh, for both teams to score, you can get odds against, uh, comfortably odds against at 6-5. to five, Which, as I said, last week they didn't show anything to threaten really City. But uh, at home, in front of their own fans, why not? And the value bets for me this week, just kind of before we go, I mean, Gomez, as I said, I think that Gomez anytime goal scorer looks okay. 12 to 1. Worth 50p, isn't it? City half time, full time, even at 1 to 2 on, I, I think that's pretty good. I, I, you know, you, you, you know, put 50p on, you'll get 75p back or, or whatever, you know what I'm talking about, guys. So I think that's okay. And I think to score, there's a, another one here that uh, I didn't mention in, in the build-up to it, but to score two or more goals, if you go for Haaland to get a couple or more, you can get 17 to 10. That's not bad. Yes, uh, I'd, I'd, yeah, I didn't mention that in the main thing. I must have missed that one, but that's there as well. So that's certainly worth a, a little punt, isn't it? 1.7 to 1. Well, there you go, guys. Let me know, please, what you're doing. Uh, thanks for watching. Let me know your thoughts, your bets, anything you've had a bet on recently. It doesn't have to be football. Anything you've had a bet on, just let me know. It's just a bit of fun. And any bets you're having in this game, let me know. <coughs> and I'll keep your fingers crossed for you. And hope they come in and let's bash those bookies. And please check out my preview show, as I said, which gives you the reasoning behind my starting 11. Of course, we'll have the odd show for the Liverpool game coming up and the preview show for that. And player ratings and talking points for this game will be following after the match on Tuesday evening so please come and join me, it would be great to have you on board let me know, leave us your comments thanks for watching guys, until we meet again I also think, only ask one thing don't I please stay safe Blues, come on City bye for now <laughs>